what's going on guys and thanks for tuning in to this portion of the video today. I wanted to share some of my favorite vegan alternatives that I have found in the last 6-7 months. If you are new to this vegan lifestyle or thinking about transitioning over to it, I 100% recommend all these products I am about to say. Let's start with the meat alternatives because everyone's biggest concern seems to be protein content when you're vegan. So if you're looking for a more healthier option when it comes to like meat alternatives rather than this, the fake stuff, I would 100% recommend tempeh or tofu. These two products are made from fermented soybeans and they are 100% organic and they are one of the best things you can have. It seems like people rather have tempeh over tofu because of the texture of it. I personally like tempeh a little bit more just because it's a lot more chewier, kind of like chicken was. Neither of them taste like anything. It all depends on what you flavor it with and that's how you get it to taste good in the way you want it to. But personally, those two are my favorites and I tend to have them once or twice a day at this point. I just really enjoy them and would rather have those type of meat replacements over like the fake meat. But don't get me wrong, I definitely have that stuff once in a while as well. I'll probably have it a couple times a week just because they're so good and they taste identical to real meat. For instance, these. Literally the best things you will ever eat. Honestly, anything by Gardein is awesome. Like their chicken nuggets are super good. These two seem to be the ones that I'll always grab if I see them on the shelves. Like these aren't always in stock. So if I see them, I'm like, yep, gotta have my sliders. They're so good, guys. How cute are those? They're like little baby sandwiches. I always love to have a burger once in a while. And the ones I've found to be the best are these. They have the highest protein contact that I have found so far and they're pretty tasty. I don't get them all the time, but I get them every so often when I feel like having a burger. So this isn't really a meat replacement, but I would put it in the same category as meat because of the high protein content. Basically any type of lentil or chickpea pasta is my go-to. When I eat one serving of this pasta, it comes around 20 grams of protein because of how much I'm actually eating and it's really not that much. It may be a little higher on the carbs, but I need the carbs so it doesn't hurt me at all. I honestly recommend this to anybody. I don't even understand how people can eat non-protein pasta. If I knew this existed years ago, I would have been eating it. You can't even tell the difference between this and regular pasta. Like, I'm serious. There are so many milk alternatives out there. They have soy, they have cashew, they have almond, they have flax, they have coconut. They literally have everything. I'll most likely switch up my milks every time I go shopping, but by far my favorite is this brand of cashew milk. Basically anything cashew is my go-to because it has a creamier and thicker base than all the other milks do, so 10 out of 10 recommend right here. So I'm sure you've all heard before, I could never go vegan because I can never give up cheese. I was one of those people as well. But let me tell you, the best non-dairy cheese out there is right here. I literally don't even have any left because I love it so much. I eat it all the freaking time. I haven't found a cheese better than this one. I like a bunch of them, but this one is by far my favorite. It melts so well. It tastes so close to cheese. It's not even funny. I've only found this type of cheese at like Whole Foods or something like that. So that's the only unfortunate part. It's not as easy to find as the other ones. I also have a bag of this, Daya. You can find Daya basically in any grocery store by you. At first I was like, yeah, it's okay. But then it really grew on me and I actually really like it now. So anything that you guys are trying and trying to transition into, just take your time with it. Don't rush it. Don't judge it right away. Your taste buds will change. I promise it happened to me. For cream cheese, I love this Daya spread. It compares very well to regular cream cheese. Like, look at that texture of it. And for butter, I've been using Earth Balance for a while now. It's not the best for you, I don't think, but it's one of the only vegan ones I have found so far. So if anyone has any other recommendations, I'd like to know. For ice cream, there are so many options. I don't actually have any pints on me right now, but I typically will get the so delicious snickerdoodle kind. It's made out of cashew milk, which I've previously mentioned. That does my favorite. They also have it in coconut milk. They have an almond milk kind. And there's also different brands of ice cream as well. I've been getting these once in a while because I always loved these when I was younger. Coconut milk isn't my favorite, but it's definitely been growing on me these last couple of months. And that's just proof that taste buds do change, my friends. And lastly, protein powders. 
out of all the ones I've tried so far, this is definitely the one I will buy. I got this one a couple weeks ago. I've only tried it a couple times and it's really not my favorite. It doesn't have much taste to it. It's just kind of bland and I don't know, I'm just not into it. I'd rather use the organ over this one. The thing I like about this one though is that one scoop is 20 grams of protein whereas Orgain is 10 grams per scoop. So that's the only pro I would say. I've definitely heard a lot of positive things about Vega. I've yet to try it. I just have so many protein powders over there that I need to get rid of before I go buy any more. So that is going to be it for this portion of the video. If you guys have any questions regarding veganism or transitioning, please don't hesitate to ask me. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.